Hey, what is going on guys? Vexen here doing a real quick video. So today I'm going to show you my Premiere Pro render settings. So yes, I do use Premiere Pro, not Sony Vegas. I just find for editing videos like I make, it's a bit better. Obviously Sony Vegas is much more preferable for editing uh, like montages and edits, stuff like that. But for videos like I do, Premiere Pro, I just prefer it. Now the reason I'm doing this is because recently I've started doing 1440p videos rather than 1080p and I thought you guys might just want to know uh, how I do it if you want to duplicate my quality or get the similar quality to me. So once you're in Premiere Pro, what you want to do is go File, New Project, you know you can name this whatever you want, save it wherever you like, that's all your choice. Now you want to go to the General tab and the only thing you need to change here is the renderer. So what you want to do is make sure this is on GPU acceleration and then in brackets it'll either say CUDA or OpenGL depending on whether you have NVIDIA or an AMD card. But just make sure you've got GPU acceleration on. If you don't and you're just using your CPU, you'll pretty much always find that performance is pretty terrible, especially with 1440p and 4K footage. It just won't be able to handle it. Playback will be laggy. The timeline when you try and move and transition will be stuttery and it's just really annoying. So if you can, if you have a graphics card, which I presume all of you do, uh, make sure you've got that turned on. Now once you've done that, you just leave everything else the same as default. You just look at what I've got here. And then you just want to click OK. So now you see Premiere Pro and you know everything's here. So what we're going to do is right click on the project tab and click new item and then go sequence. Now in this sequence, what you're going to need to do is create a preset. So you can just name this uh, sequence, whatever you want down the bottom, just pick your name. And then what you want to do is click up on the settings tab. Now once, once you're here, this is where you need to change a lot of things. So the first thing is on time base, make sure this is 60 frames per second. If you want, if you're doing gameplay footage, I'd just always make this 60 frames per second. You know, obviously if you're using camera footage, just make whatever footage uh, whatever frame rate your camera records at. So for most cameras, that'll be 50 or 24 frames. So just pick that. It's really up to you, depending on the situation. But if you're doing gameplay and you're at 4K or 1440p, and it really is just the standard for gameplay footage. Now editing mode, you can just leave at custom. Now frame size. Now for me, this is 1440p. So I have 2560 horizontal and 1440 vertical. And then next to it, it'll say 16 by nine which unless for some other reason you're doing 21 by 9 footage or 4 by 3 footage, uh, you can you know do that if you want. But if you're watching this video, I'm just going to show you guys my settings. So 2560 by 1440, that's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and that is 1440p. So what you want to do is have the pixel aspect ratio on 1. Never change this to anything else. There's just no need to, so just always leave it at 1. On fields, make sure it's on no fields, progressive scan. Now the display format is 60 FPS timecode. So whatever your time base is, for me it's 60, you know, yours might be 24 or 50, then make your display format just that if whatever that FPS is, timecode. And then that's pretty much it for the video section. Now onto audio. Leave the sample rate at 48,000 hertz and the display format at audio samples. So you don't need to change that, just leave it at default. Now the video previews is really up to you. So if you're on a lower end system, you want to lower this. But for me, I have the width and height as 1920 by 1080, so I can get a 1080p preview window, and it just looks really nice and crisp, and I can see it clearly. But if you are on a lower end PC, you might want to make that 720p or even 480p. But as, if you can, just put it at the max, which is 1080p. Then you want to tick all of the boxes, so maximum bit depth, maximum render quality, and composite in linear color. So just make sure you've got all those boxes ticked, and then that's pretty much it for the video previews section and VR properties, we're not doing VR footage so we can just ignore that. Now if you want to save this for a future project, you can save this preset and then just name it whatever you want. So I've named mine 1440p60 and then obviously just name your sequence and then just hit OK and then there you go. So now you'll see a timeline, you can chuck footage in here, just drag it in from File Explorer or Finder and you can see your preview window timeline, it's all there and that's great. Now the last step, rendering. So this is pretty much 50% of the job, so you gotta make sure you get this right. And you always wanna have this to match your sequence. A lot of people will be rendering at 1440p or 4K, 60 FPS, but their sequence doesn't match that. And it just screws everything up and makes it all look pretty terrible. And it means that even though you're exporting a 1440p video, if your sequence is at maybe a 1080p, it's gonna be upscaling and that'll look ugly and it's just bad, so just make sure that whatever your render settings are, they match your sequence settings. So if you've got the sequence settings just like mine, like I just showed you, then this is what you're gonna do for rendering. Obviously go File, you click Export, and you click Media. 
Now, the first thing you don't want to do is click match sequence settings because for some reason, Premiere Pro doesn't quite do this properly. It ends up making it 1080p instead of 1440p. So we want to get it the same, but clicking that box at the very top, it won't do that. So don't use that box, just ignore it. So now I'm going to go through each part. So the first thing you want to do is the format, have it as H.264. This is for exporting to YouTube. This is the encoder that YouTube uses. So just use the same. Now the preset, what you want to do is go down and all the way to the bottom and you will see YouTube 1080p HD. So what you want to do is click on that and then that will just do a lot of it for us. That pretty much sets us up. There's only a few things we need to change now. So the first thing you want to change obviously is under basic video settings, make that instead of 1920 by 1080, make it 2560 by 1440. We can leave square pixels. The profile is high. That's fine. Now the level, you do need to change that. You want to put that level to 5.1. And you also want to click render at maximum depth. So just click that. And then that's pretty much it for the basic video settings. Now the next setting is bitrate. So what we want to have this at is, this is your choice. If you want some uh, smaller files with better quality and you have a decent enough computer to do it, you can put this to VBR two pass, which basically renders the video twice and then merges them together to get the better quality of both. But this will take twice as long, so it's really up to you. Personally, I don't do it because I don't think the difference is particularly noticeable, especially with YouTube's compression, which just ruins all quality of any video you upload to YouTube. So I really don't think VBR 2 pass is worth it. So just do one pass and you'll be fine with that. Just whatever you do, don't do CBR. So VBR, one pass. Now onto the bitrate. So I'll leave a link in the description for YouTube's bitrate settings and resolution and frame rate and all that kind of stuff. But if you're doing 1440p 60, you want to have the target bitrate at 24 megabits per second and the maximum bitrate at 24 megabits per second. So this means that your footage will always be uh, just that 24 megabits per second, which is what YouTube recommends for 1440p footage. So put them both the same. And then what you want to do is down the bottom, click use maximum render quality and make sure the other boxes are all unticked. So just that one is ticked. Now you don't need to change the advanced settings or VR video, just leave them. And then that's pretty it. So where it says output name, that blue text, click that and then pick where you want to save the video to and name it whatever you want. And then that's pretty it. Uh, you can click export and your video will load for a while. Obviously it depends on your computer, how long it takes. But yeah, that's pretty it. You now have your Premiere Pro set up to render 1440p footage, perfect for YouTube at the right encode, at the right bit rate using the same encoder and it's all great. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how you render 1440p 60fps footage for YouTube. That is how I do it. So this quick tutorial has helped you. And now if you want to copy my quality, you want to get videos that look like mine, uh, you can do just that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, comment, subscribe, hope this video helps you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.